Welcome to VCU colleagues. We're delighted you've chosen to come to VCU for your interview. My name is Vig Kasirajan. I'm the chair of surgery. And it's a pleasure to welcome you again to VCU. Over the next day and a half, I hope you'll have an opportunity to see what we do here in taking care of our patients and providing you with an excellent education in addition to our work in innovation and research. Hope you'll have fun and get to know the faculty and staff and have a great time. I look forward to seeing you during your interview. Thank you. Hello and welcome to VCU Surgery. I am glad that you are watching this in order to learn more about our wonderful program. From the people that you are about to meet, you will see that VCU is one of the country's premier general surgery residency training programs. Our residents graduate with an amazing breadth of cases and are well equipped to go on to competitive fellowships around the country or join any practice. Our clinical volumes, services, and experiences continue to grow on a yearly basis. This year, we are excited to have added dedicated experiences in burn surgery and in a new rotation in colorectal surgery. Whether rotating at the main university hospital, or at the VA hospital in Richmond, or at a community experience in Winchester, our residents get a terrific operative experience. From an educational perspective, our model of resident-led didactics continues to result in excellent morale and board passage. This year, we have added dedicated didactic time to Tuesday mornings, and have added a decision-making conference for our chief residents. Our research prospects continue to expand. For those who choose the option of a research component in their residency, we offer exciting opportunities in basic science, quality improvement, and international work. Our true strength, however, lies in the faculty, staff, and residents that make training in surgery at VCU a very special experience. Thank you for taking the time to get to know us. Across the divisions of our Department of Surgery, we have national and international experts who guide our development as house staff. Our clinical volume is high, sometimes overwhelmingly so. The breadth of our training extends from the maximally invasive ED thoracotomy to state-of-the-art minimally invasive approaches utilizing advanced laparoscopic and robotic techniques. Um, our flagship tertiary care hospital, the VA, and our exposure in the community hospital settings really prepare us well for the modern practice of surgery. For residents who are interested in research, we have various funded labs and established research opportunities in basic science, outcomes, quality improvement, global health. And VCU has a proven track record of matching residents into high quality and highly competitive fellowship programs. For people who are more interested in going directly into practice, our graduating chiefs have the confidence and the skills to make that goal a reality. Above all these though, what stands out the most is the camaraderie among the residents and the collegiality between the house staff and attendings. This facilitates a warm, welcoming learning environment, allowing resident development to happen in partnership with resident wellness. So we've revamped our didactic curriculum in the last few years. We use the Scientific American Decker Surgery Curriculum for our basic science lectures. One of the best ways to learn something is to teach it. So we have our mid-level and senior residents present the weekly lectures with a faculty member as a moderator. We also have chief review every week. The conference is meant for our chiefs to review material to prepare for the written and oral boards, um, but all are welcome to attend. We rotate between doing absite practice questions, CSEP questions, and two new conferences that we started this year, which is uh, really exciting. Um, it's operative techniques and decision-making conference. Uh, for these last two, we have a faculty member moderate. Uh, for example, for the decision-making conference, the attending might start with the discussion of a common procedure, and a resident will walk through the steps of the procedure. The attending will then throw in a curveball, uh, either an unexpected finding or a complication, um, and this helps challenge the residents to think about what to do in these scenarios that aren't so straightforward. Hi, welcome to Virginia Commonwealth University. This residency offers a lot. I can tell you a little bit about critical care. We take care of the sickest of the sick. We take care of surgical critical care, trauma critical care, burn. We have the largest experience in surgeon perform ultrasound and we're so excited to have you here to give you all the opportunities for training and make sure that you develop that niche that will make you different than anybody else that comes to a surgical residency. So welcome, Richmond is amazing. We're looking forward to working with you. Hello everyone, welcome to Richmond. 
I'm Dr. Shah from the Division of Cardiothoracic Surgery. We have a thoracic and foregut surgery service staffed by Dr. Cassano, Dr. Nicolado, and myself. As a PGY4 resident, you will run the service with the help of an intern and mid-level providers. The service focuses on the diseases of the lung, esophagus, mediastinum, chest wall, diaphragm, and the pleura. As a senior resident, you will do cases like thoracoscopic lung resection, minimally invasive esophagectomy, diaphragmatic case, pacemaker implantations, hiatal hernia repair with laparoscopy, heller myotomy, mediastinal mass resection with the use of a robot, as well as advanced endoscopy, including esophageal functional analysis and motility studies. You will also see patients in our clinic preoperatively and postoperatively and attend weekly thoracic and GI tumor wounds. Junior residents are encouraged to spend as much time in the operating room as possible and they also learn bedside procedures like thoracentesis and chest tube placement. As a senior resident, you will spend 8 to 12 weeks with us at a time and you will get increasing autonomy in the operating room as time goes by. We also encourage you to be part of research projects and case presentations. We at VCU, with other robo robust surgical services, strive to give you the best possible diverse case volume and surgical curriculum. We look forward to working with you in the future. We see general surgery residents in almost every year of their training, and we look forward to having you on our service to learn something new every year that you're with us. We see patients with complex colorectal disease, including inflammatory bowel disease, colon and rectal cancer, anal cancer, and anorectal diseases. You will work with us in the inpatient surgery setting where we do redo operative open surgeries. We also do complex laparoscopic cases. In the outpatient surgery setting, we do most of our anorectal disease and you'll see us in the endoscopy suite where you'll learn colonoscopy. General surgery training is very complementary with colon and rectal training where you'll learn to be comfortable in the pelvis and operating on the anorectum. We look forward to seeing you on our service as a general surgery resident here at VCU. Hey, I'm Nina. I'm one of the current research residents. So VCU offers a flexible research pathway between PGY2 and PGY3. And we usually have anywhere from two to currently six residents out in the lab. We have faculty in many divisions that are doing either basic science or clinical projects, and really most of the faculty are doing something academic and are happy to involve us. Um, so it makes for a really good opportunity for mentorship, especially when it comes to publications and presentations and all that kind of stuff. Our program definitely views this time as for overall professional development, and they're very supportive of people who want to do things other than just basic science. Uh, for example, one of the current residents is doing global surgery work in Rwanda. Another one is the chief resident of quality and safety at the VA. And one of the previous residents actually worked on designing a new medical device. Um, super cool. So for me, it's been a really productive time, both professionally and personally. For example, so far, I've gotten to give talks at four national meetings. Um, I've written three grants. I've uh, probably got four, five or six publications coming out at the end. And this year, I was actually able to enter the graduate school to get a master's. I've gotten to explore other areas, so I went on three surgical missions with some of the faculty here uh, to Ecuador and Jamaica, and I've gotten involved in surgical education um, by giving talks and, and workshops to the med students, and also I'm an ATLS instructor. Um, so having that flexibility um, is, it was a real positive when I was applying for residencies because I wasn't really sure what specialty I wanted to go into or, or what kind of practice I wanted. Um, so for me, back when I was ranking programs, it was a nice plus that VCU offered the opportunity but didn't require its residents to be able to do research in a major academic place like this. As residents here at VCU, we've expanded our surgical training to reach beyond our downtown MCV campus to include rotations in Winchester, Virginia. While in Winchester, we work alongside community surgeons in private practice general surgery, acute care and trauma surgery, and surgical oncology. We work one-on-one -on -one with our attendings in an apprenticeship-based model. This gives us an opportunity to focus our time in the operating room and to develop our technical skills. While in Winchester, we get more exposure to bread and butter general surgery and we get a taste of private practice surgery outside of a large academic center. 
It's a great experience that is a lot of fun and really helps create a very well-rounded surgical education. We offer comprehensive training in all aspects of surgery with clinical rotations in all specialties, including vascular surgery and endovascular surgery, transplantation, trauma and surgical intensive care, urology, plastic surgery, advanced GI surgery that includes foregut and colon and rectal surgery, and diagnostic and therapeutic upper and lower endoscopy. Not only that, you will rotate in thoracic surgery, surgical oncology, among others. However, and importantly, we also offer community-based rotations. So, you will not only learn about the practice of surgery in a quaternary medical center like ours, but also in a private practice setting. I can tell you that I and all the faculty at VCU are dedicated to help you become a caring, skillful, and thoughtful surgeon. I truly hope to see you here next year. All the best. Global surgery is very important to VCU Department of Surgery. In fact, we've created a program for global surgery to bring together interested residents, fellows, students, and our faculty to find ways to work together and collaborate on global partnerships. Our faculty actually have, have collaborations in Rwanda, Ecuador, St. Kitts and the Grenadines, as well as Vietnam. Through our program, we've created tracks for our residents and students to have clinical experiences, mentored short-term and long-term research experiences, and we're in the process of creating ACGME approved rotations. In fact, the American College of Surgeons has selected VCU as one of the first programs to work with them on building a brand new partnership in Ethiopia. We have plenty of opportunities locally. We also have a local monthly global surgery seminar series with VCU speakers and speakers from around the region. In March 2019, VCU will actually be hosting the Virginia Global Surgery Symposium, a national conference with our co-hosts, the Global Surgery Student Association. If you'd like more details, come check out our website at surgery.vcu.edu and click on Global Surgery. I look forward to seeing you next year. Hello, I'm Jeannie Rivers, a General Surgeon and Chief of Surgery at the Hunter Holmes McGuire VA Medical Center. Many of you have already spent some of your training time at a veterans hospital, but as the saying goes, if you've seen one VA, you've seen one VA. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about our VA here in Richmond. Housed in a 1.2 million square foot, 400 bed facility, we are one of the largest and most complex VAs in the country. In addition to a new cancer center, simulation center, and surgical endoscopy unit, we offer complex surgical care spanning 12 surgical specialties. Our cardiac surgeons perform LVADs and heart transplants on site. Our urologists and general surgeons have been offering robotic surgical techniques for almost 20 years now. And we've recently opened programs in surgical gynecology and bariatric surgery to serve our rapidly growing patient base. As a surgical resident, you will benefit from working together with our inpatient surgery care team, comprised of surgical intensivists, inpatient nurse practitioners, and medicine-trained hospitalists to address the medical needs of your surgical patients. This team approach enables you to improve your communication and teamwork skills while allowing you to spend more of your time where you really want to be, in the operating room. We therefore encourage our senior residents to mentor junior residents through basic surgical cases and junior residents to assist senior residents during more complex operations. Though attending surgeons are physically present to supervise all operative procedures and clinic consultations, we strive to give you as much autonomy as possible in order to hone your clinical decision-making, teaching, and leadership skills. As our VA surgery service has seen 10 to 20% annual growth for the past seven years, we have added three brand new fully integrated ORs for a total of 12 operating rooms. In addition, we are designing and building new OR hybrid rooms a surgical progressive care unit, six to eight new ORs, and a brand new 16-bed surgical intensive care unit. Our unique and diverse surgical patient population, expert clinical staff, and expanded physical plant combine to make our VA a very rich educational environment in which you will thrive during your resident training in surgery. We look forward to working with you in the future. Hi, and welcome to VCU. I'm Jeffrey Stern, one of the fourth-year surgical residents. I want to mention a few things to you today about our transplant department. We have a strong history here at VCU 
which began in 1962 with the establishment of our transplant program, the third of its kind in the country. At VCU, we have performed over 5,000 transplants, an achievement that we surpassed this past year. We perform heart, liver, kidney, pancreas, and islet cell autotransplants on a regular basis. Our transplant surgeons also perform vascular access procedures as well as complex hepatobiliary and liver resection operations. While rotating on the transplant service, residents have the opportunity to participate in several of our 75 to 100 liver transplants and over 150 kidney transplants per year. As residents, we rotate on the service during the first and third year, acting as the chief of service during the third year. We participate in the pre, intraoperative, and postoperative care of the transplant patients and are exposed to a variety of complex medical conditions. We also have the assistance of several fantastic nurse practitioners and PAs. Overall, the experience is quite a valuable asset to our residency education. I hope you enjoy your time here at VCU, and I look forward to working with you next year. Thanks. Pediatric surgery is a fantastic rotation at VCU for a number of reasons. First, our pediatric surgery group is the only one in Richmond and a large surrounding radius, so all of the sickest children needing surgery are referred here. Uh, we also don't have a pediatric surgery fellowship, so all of these cases are being covered by our residents. So in addition to a good number of bread and butter pediatric cases, are able to be the primary trainee on the complex rare cases as well. We rotate on the service in our second and fourth years, and as second years we operate both at VCU and at, a, and at a nearby community hospital. This way we're able to have exposure to the specialty early in training and become comfortable working with and managing pediatric patients as junior residents. Then by the time we're service chief in our fourth year, we're more than equipped to handle the complex patients and procedures. Most importantly, our attendings are all excellent teachers and fantastic to work with. There are a couple who also do an annual mission trip to Jamaica, and several residents have been able to take advantage of this great opportunity. Our surgical oncology experience is excellent as well. Similarly, we are the tertiary referral center for the city and a large surrounding area of the state, so we're able to see an incredible depth, breadth of diseases, including advanced presentations and rare malignancies. We rotate on service in our first, third, and fifth years and each year the rotation follows a sort of apprenticeship model. The time spent with certain attendings doing specific types of cases based on training level. It really is a unique experience providing the opportunity to expand and improve our knowledge base in both in specific areas as well as being able to track and make improvements in operative techniques throughout the rotation. Hello, I'm Renee Challoway, a second year general surgery resident. We have a phenomenal program here to grow as a confident surgeon and as a strong individual. Our faculty is interested in you as a person and are approachable with any concerns. They understand residency is very challenging, physically, mentally, and emotionally. We're fortunate to have a fun and supportive team of residents, and we regularly go out for dinner to catch up on life. And this includes everyone from chiefs to interns, spouses, kids, and friends. We celebrate birthdays, weddings, and anniversaries as an entire department. If you have a loss in your family or are welcoming a new baby, we coordinate that time off you need to recover and to be with your loved ones. There's childcare available with hours that agree with our busy schedule, and many of our residents and attendings take their kids there. We make sure that you get the time off you need to make sure you get to your health appointments to keep you at your healthiest. If you need mental health support, we find the resources you need. No stigmas attached. We have also created a committee for the development, engagement, and wellness of our entire surgical department to focus on promoting well-being. At VCU, you will work in a cooperative and inclusive environment to become a strong and resilient surgeon. Hello, and welcome to Richmond. My name is Dr. Alan Rossi, and I'm one of the acute care surgeons here at VCU. As someone who's not originally from Virginia, I can tell you that Richmond is a great place to live. There are so many different options on living locations. It could be in apartment buildings, converted hotels, uh, old renovated tobacco factories, or historic Victorian homes. You can live in the downtown area and have the advantage of being able to walk to work, which is a fantastic advantage when you've had long nights at the hospital. The other options is that you can live in the surrounding communities of Church Hill, The Fan, the Museum District, or Shaco Bottom. Lots of different options. And when you're in the city, Richmond has really become quite the foodie town. 
you'll find all over the city different farm-to-table options where the menus change as the ingredients change and it always makes an excellent culinary experience. And Richmond has very close proximity to the Chesapeake so we have some great seafood in our city. You're looking for any kind of cultural activities, we have theaters, we have museums, and it's just an excellent opportunity to see traveling Broadway shows, the Richmond Symphony, the Richmond Ballet, or any kind of musical concert, or even traveling up towards D.C. and having easy access um, to big outdoor concert events. Looking for some kind of outdoor activities, the surrounding communities, or even in the downtown area, we have the River City. So you have the James River, you could be kayaking, you could be stand-up paddle boarding, you could be White River rafting. Or you could do what I do, which is run along the trails. The islands, Belle Isle, Browns Island, up and down bridges, just an amazing place to live. It's a great area. You can work downtown and live downtown or live in the surrounding areas, but Richmond is a great place to be.